Warren Edward Buffett, now 93 years old, best known as being a renowned billionaire who's also recognized for his frugal nature, if you can believe it. It's not often that we meet people as wealthy as Mr. Buffett that are also into pinching their pennies. Let's delve into the homes owned by the man recognized as the world's most frugal billionaire. Do you think you can guess how luxurious his mansions are? Warren Buffett is a household name in the business world, known for his incredible success as an investor and CEO. Despite his extreme success and wealth as chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, Buffett remains deeply rooted in his hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. Warren was born in Omaha in 1930, the son of a stockbroker, later congressman, and a homemaker. Since he was young, Warren showed a remarkable gift with numbers and an interest in investing. By the age of 11, he already bought his first stock and was well on his way to a successful career in finance. After studying at the University of Nebraska and the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania, Buffett worked for Benjamin Graham's investment firm just before acquiring Berkshire Hathaway in 1965. Over the next several decades, he built the company into one of the world's most successful and respected corporate conglomerates. Warren Buffett's renowned for his simple and frugal lifestyle despite being the sixth richest person in the world with a net worth of an estimated $120 billion. As of 2023, Buffett continues to live in his longtime modest home in Omaha, Nebraska that he bought for a mere $31,500 back in 1958. Even adjusted for inflation, that would only equate to just under $329,000. Despite its current humble net worth, Warren's home has sentimental value to him and he's consistently dubbed it the third best investment ever made, only behind his wedding rings. The 1921 built home sits on a corner lot in Omaha, Nebraska, and is just a five minute drive from Berkshire Hathaway's corporate headquarters, providing Buffett convenience when he would go into the office to work all of those years. Warren's longtime residence is reported to be worth nearly $1.5 million these days, which is more than 44 times what he paid for it ages ago. Omaha is a town that aligns with Buffett's laid back lifestyle, and his home is in the upscale Dundee neighborhood. Inside his home spans 6,570 square feet with five bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. The interiors of Warren's house reflect his simple and unassuming personality, with walls boasting family photos, making the space warm. Furniture is comfortable and functional without any lavish or over-the-top decor. Warren has lived in the same house for over 50 years, choosing to invest his money in his businesses and philanthropy over material possession. The interior is tastefully decorated with oriental-style rugs, marble side tables, vintage furniture, and a well-designed kitchen. Buffett, when asked about not choosing a grand mansion, instead, he emphasized the home's sentimental value, citing it as the happiest house in the world due to the memories it holds. The arch door of the sunroom here has Buffett's signature, where he's written the birthplace of Buffett Associates. In fact, he rented this house in 1956 for just $175 a month with his late wife and started his business in this sunroom, which is off the master bedroom. Buffett's living room boasts a pastel color palette complemented by wooden floors as well as a large door and skylights for natural light. The central fireplace makes the room even more cozy. The dining area embraces minimalism with neutral tones, rustic wooden furniture, and a standout chandelier. Over in Warren's U-shaped kitchen, there are granite counters, white appliances, and an island while this room transitions into a family living area. Warren has created a strong sense of home and family by living here so long and made lasting memories in this space. This is a reminder that even the wealthiest and most successful individuals value the simple things in life. In a 2009 interview with the BBC, Warren expressed how much he loved his Omaha home saying, I couldn't imagine having a better house. While it makes him happy, Warren does admit renting could have been a better move financially. In a 2010 letter addressed to his Berkshire Hathaway shareholders, Warren expressed his belief that homeownership is a sensible choice for most Americans, but he would have made far more money if he chose to rent and use the purchase money to buy stocks. 
The exact quote read, home ownership makes sense for most Americans. All things considered, the third best investment I ever made was the purchase of my home. Though I would have made far more money had I instead rented and used the purchase money to buy stocks. He continues to warn that buying a house can turn into a nightmare if the buyer overspends and stretches beyond their financial capabilities, taking on more debt than they can comfortably manage. While Warren's only home in his real estate portfolio is his Omaha place, at one point he did own a vacation home in the stunning Laguna Beach area of California. He purchased this property in 1971 for $150,000, approximately $1 million these days. It said that Warren bought this home just to please his late wife, Susan. This home was located in the gated community of Emerald Bay and offered 3,588 square feet of space along with six bedrooms, each equipped with its own ensuite bath. Despite its scenic surroundings, including stunning beaches and high cliffs, Buffett eventually listed the property for $11 million in 2017, later selling it for $7 million in October 2018. Buffett, known for his investment skills as the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, has also made a long list of successful investments. Under his leadership, the company made huge purchases, like the acquisition of ABC for $3.5 billion, a $1 billion investment in Coca-Cola, and a 5% stake in Apple for $72 billion. Additionally, Berkshire Hathaway purchased NetJets, a company offering partial ownership of private jets in 1998. Despite his significant investments, Buffett is not known for extravagant spending on wheels or transport. He formerly owned a jet, a Bombardier Challenger 600, which he later sold after acquiring a fleet of private jets through NetJets. When it comes to his wheels, however, Warren has been consistent for years with a Cadillac. Nice wheels. Yeah. <laughs> well. So I, how old is this caddy? I think it's about five years or so. In 2014, he upgraded from a 2006 Cadillac DTS to a Cadillac XTS. Contrary to his frugality in what he buys for himself, Warren Buffett has shown immense generosity in his philanthropy. He's donated a whopping $42 billion to various charitable organizations, making him the top philanthropist in the United States. Buffett co-founded The Giving Pledge, urging billionaires to commit to donating a significant portion of their wealth to charity during their lifetime or upon their death. I think more individuals should take notes from Mr. Buffett, especially the wealthy ones. As we conclude today's video, some might debate whether Warren Buffett's frugality and wonder why he doesn't purchase himself massive homes or toys considering his crazy success and wealth. However, Warren stands out as one of the most unique billionaires when you think about how much he chose to share with charities rather than spoil himself. Share your thoughts on Warren Buffett's homes and spending choices in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Be sure to answer this question for me before you go. What charities might you choose to invest your money in if you had the ability? I would hands down be using my billions to help all the dogs in need around the world. And maybe I'd even get to open an animal sanctuary of my own. Let me know in the comments what you'd choose and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.